Nova Jade Cosmetics uh, originated in Tennessee back in 2019. Nova Jade is my baby girl, and I built Nova Jade Cosmetics uh, to pretty much have something to make her feel like a princess. And uh, she is my little princess. And Nova Jade Cosmetics. Uh, one day when she gets older, hopefully you'll see her doing videos like this with the company. So the idea for the skincare line actually didn't come from my daughter. It actually came from a long personal journey with uh, healthcare issues years before my daughter was even born. Uh, this was post-military and I had this obsession with rejuvenating muscular skeletal tissues and tissues that made up nerves and other things to contribute to rehabilitating physical injuries. That was my intent. Uh, when I started making different types of like solutions that were like topical solutions and salves and other things to like put on my body um, to solve my health problems and it worked. Uh, I relied on a broken medical system in the military for too long and thought that they were the know all relied on a broken healthcare system in the VA for too long and thought that they were no on then you know VA doctors started verbalizing they couldn't fix a lot of my injuries and stuff that I was just gonna have to deal with them and they just wanted me to eat a cocktail of pills every single day nine different medications nerve relaxers muscle relaxers painkillers anti-inflammatories and um, these pills started creating other issues that I never had before because those are the side effects that those companies uh, had manufactured into these medications. And that didn't sound like a fix or a solution. It sounded like uh, some sort of mask or like pills to make you just feel good about being injured but not actually any kind of like recovery and again doctors would verbalize and tell me that like there was literally nothing I could do uh, that I was just going to have to live with these injuries and, and that was it so I stopped relying on the VA medical system and I used my military veteran education benefits to go get an education to learn about health. Um, I went to school for biochemistry. And that is where I learned what was wrong with me and how to fix it. And it wasn't as easy as going to school and there was a class that says, hey, what's wrong with you and how to fix it? Like, I, I had to put two and two together with different things I was learning in different classes and, and make sense of it myself. And along with also other studies, I would go to libraries, online research, uh, the whole nine yards with studying anything and everything I could about healthcare different types of healthcare systems from different countries, like, you, you name it, I, I, it was, it was obsessive. <clears throat> so, one thing, when I started creating different solutions to repair, um, muscular tissue, I found out that the FDA doesn't allow you to promote healing products, like, for sale, you will get in a lot of trouble if you say my product heals this on the label or any kind of marketing where you say the word heal just because the regulations for the FDA don't want anybody to sell anything that heals <laughs> like it's it's simple as that there's no reason there would be a regulation or a law against saying 
those words unless they wanted to make sure that no one could sell anything that healed anybody. So what they do allow you to promote is anti-aging skincare. So that's how my personal healthcare solutions turn into a skincare line. I was in college when I built Novage Cosmetics and I did it for a business plan competition. I saw an ad for it on a flyer on a billboard and I responded my email and told them I wanted to join. The competition didn't require you to have a business so they didn't require you to have any products or services. They just wanted you to have a business plan and kind of like Shark Tank to be able to go talk about your business plan and about what this fantasy business is that you were talking about. And I was like, if I'm going to do a business plan, why don't I just make a business all the way, make products and stuff? Because that was kind of like a driving force was like for getting involved with the business plan competition in the first place. So I went and got business licenses with the city and county, uh, thought of the name. My, my daughter's middle name is Nova Jade. And I was like, I'm going to make a skincare line. It's going to be full of cosmetics, Nova Jade cosmetics. And it just sounded right. So, uh, you know, I would be in college. I would be drawing little doodles, Nova Jade, uh, for like, uh, labels and stuff like that just doodling labels with like Nova Jade written different ways just do it for hand and pen I would do that in classes in between classes and everything and I did pretty well the marketing director business director uh, wanted to talk to me after and he gave me a lot of tips on business and told me what I did right what I did wrong um, all the professors who were older, mainly women, primarily came to my vending stand while I was there and they liked my products I had there. I had soap, I had serum and stuff and I, I was giving some of them away just to get people to want to call me back and see how my company's doing and stuff later. So the very next month after the business plan competition, I started building a website. I had built a website before, but it wasn't for like company purposes. It was just like uh, some blog type, hobby type stuff. And now I had to go from doing that kind of blog work to like full e-commerce. So I built an e-commerce website to where I would create different products and I would have to take pictures of them myself. I would have to edit all the pictures for the photos and post them up online and then make infographics and all sorts of different things, do all the marketing and stuff myself to like uh, really get Nova J Cosmetics out there and get people to like see like, oh, this guy is like selling skincare and it's to repair tissues, which when you're trying to alleviate wrinkles or lessen the appearance of wrinkles a lot of those peptides and other things that they use in that can be used in tissue regeneration and stuff I mean it's essentially what it is so I built the e-commerce website I got a lot of attention I got international attention. I got customers in the UK. I got customers in Asia. I got customers in Canada. I got customers all over the West Coast of the United States. I got customers down in Florida. I got customers in New York. I got customers in my local area. Most of my customers were actually weren't even from where I lived. And, and there was people who lived around me who bought my products just because, you know, they supported me. But a lot of my customers, I never knew them, never met them or anything. So that right there made me feel like you're doing something right because these people have never spoke to you or saw you or anything and they're buying your products and um, they're coming back and they're buying your products every month. The same, same people buying the same things and stuff. So 
Nova Jade had to grow a little bit more. So the next year, I got into the local farmer's market. And the city that I lived in was a very small town. Very small town, very small population. Like out in the country, we had Amish people working there at this farmer's market <laughs> and other farmers like directly from farms and stuff. So most people went there to this farmer's market to buy farm goods, food, produce, baked goods, stuff like that. And then they had other vendors where you, you could sell like crafts, handmade crafts. That was a prerequisite to get in this. If you weren't a farmer, what you were selling had to be something that you made, not something that you went and bought and you were just there reselling. It had to be a handcrafted good. So since I made all my skincare products, um, I'm the cosmetic chemist and do all the packaging and, and everything from start to finish with product development, then qualified me to be in this uh, farmer's market. So I went in there as a vendor right off the bat. I think I stood out dramatically just because, you know, you're in a country place. You see Amish people, they're selling their goods. You see other farmers, they're dressed like farmers. And then you got someone else that's dressed real nice at a, <laughs> selling anti-aging skincare. You know, and um, a lot of people would go there for, like, produce and stuff and maybe, like, some little $5 crap. Someone might make, like, some keychains or something like that. And then you'd see, like, anti-aging skincare. And I'm out there offering samples. So when you give out samples, people will come and talk to you. And that was more or less what I wanted to do. Because I was thinking, I was like, if I just get people to come talk to me and look at my products, they'll buy them. And uh, it worked out. But, you know, with a small town, there's only a small amount of consumer. And so I was like, if, if I'm going to have a bigger presence, yeah, you know, like I can sell e-commerce. But like I'm doing real good in person. I just, I need to sell in a bigger town. I need to go to sort of like a city. A city that has, you know, like several more thousand people than where I was at. And I ended up moving states. I moved and I closed my skincare line down during that process because I didn't have a place to make skincare. So I made a couple batches. I sold out almost immediately. I thought it was going to last me longer. It didn't. It sold out very quick. And I was saying, okay, I have to rebuild my company. And if I'm going to rebuild things and do things like, like reintroduce Nova Jade Cosmetics skincare line, then I need to do something different. So go to the drawing board for product development and I already had different ideas for product development and different individual products. One thing kept lingering on my mind over and over and over. And it was from a podcast that I did. I did a short series uh, earlier this year. I'll end up doing it again later, but called Women of Success Stories. And one of the episodes, I had a marketing specialist. Her name is Jenna Apgard. Very smart when it comes to marketing. And she caught me off guard with a question. She asked me, Something to the effect of um, what do you give your customers like when you give them a product, like when you sell a product to them? And I, I wasn't really sure what she meant at first. Uh, okay. And when you sell it, what do you sell it with? Uh, what, do, what do you mean? Like, like with another product? And um, pretty much like when some places sell objects they put like a i would say a business card in there but they might also put something else that that has the same effect as a business card like um i don't know like a scrunchy a little stretchy band or like a little stress ball or something <laughs> and uh it's something that you can keep around that it's not made out of paper that just most people would just normally throw away and stuff like that so i was thinking i was like no one's gonna want Probably any kind of like garbage like that in skincare, like um, a stress ball 
or a pencil or a pen or any kind of stationary stuff like that. So I can go ahead and just get those ideas out of my head. And I'm thinking to myself over and over, what can I do to add something to my skincare products that I send out to people to add value, something, something that they're gonna keep around. And I'm just thinking and thinking and thinking. This went on for, I wanna say three, four weeks. Keep thinking of that podcast. Keep thinking of what else I can put in the items, going online, looking for different things that I can just add, um, pair up with different products, maybe add like some extra utility. And I'm thinking, no, no, that's going to work. But then that's going to work. And then I was at the store and I saw some packaging on meat that was on sale and it said GM pack value. And I kept thinking jam pack value, jam pack value. That's what I'm looking for, jam pack value. And it was like a light bulb. It was like just a light bulb where I'm like, I, I know what I need to do. I know, I know what I need to do now. So what I wanted to do was be able to use a lot of my old products in the Nova Jade skincare line that people have been buying the past two years. And I wanted to use them in conjunction with something else. So this new item, I went and I looked for a new supplier that could custom make me something that's like not easy to replicate at home. So if I were to sell this, like other people couldn't like make replicas and go sell it. Um, very easy also so there's special features on this item and I wanted to pair this item up with several of my other products and jam-packed value is going to be kind of like the theme of this is jam-packed value so the next time someone asked me like, Hey, what are you sending with your products or this like that? Like I'm going to have like a very specific answer and it's going to be something that's going to be like so extravagant and, and stretched out like the amount of details I'm going to have in my answer that they're not going to doubt whether I'm going to be able to like evolve Nova J cosmetics or whether I can like, um, keep doing something to make Nova Jade kind of like disruptive in our field, make us uh, stand out since we are a small skincare company or not L'Oreal or any of these other, I don't even know the big name companies. I know some of them, but we're not, we're not a big skincare company, very small. So we had to do something different and um, that's where we're at right now with Nova Jade. S Q S Q U A I N E Square. You ready to sing with Daddy? Yes. Okay. Ready? Do Re Me. Okay.